to come here. I was looking for for opportunity to play. I think that that's the main thing. Doesn't it doesn't make sense you going somewhere where you know probably you're not gonna get game time. Yeah. So I think that's the first thing that comes into mind when 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 you move into a new club, knowing uh, what are the possibilities of, of you playing there. I always say like uh, if you change a club, it should be a step forward. So you have to choose wisely, and also the environment affects your uh, development in like a sporting area as well. So I think like it's. Probably the most important thing in what an environment you are in to kind of de develop as a person and uh, soccer-wise as well. Internationally it's more about physical football, everything is about strength. Yeah, you have to compete in, in physical. And the Cape Town City it's more about we have most of the time the possession. So we actually dominate the games and we set the pace of the games. So the challenge is actually physical and they say to come to Cape Town City it's more about playing football. I think um, the game, <coughs> the way we played in the Netherlands was a bit more tactical. Um, in South Africa it's a bit more up and down, up and down, like almost like a, a full transition game. Um, but I think the players are actually more talented in South Africa, they were born with more talent, but I just think that the the structure and the academies are yeah, much better in the Netherlands to be honest. But I think if the people in South Africa actually understand which potential they have and they can develop the academies and stuff like that, then I think that yeah, there's a lot of possibilities in this country. The highlight uh, was definitely the MTN 8 win, I guess. Yeah, it was a big thing, especially just after such a short period of time. But for me, every single final we played was something special. Uh, in the first season with the Telcom as well. Probably the Telcom was even a crazier feeling than the MTN 8 if I think about it afterwards. Because it was the first season, everything was new, nobody did kind of know what to expect and I was kind of surprised and a big statement for the club as well. So probably it was the Telcom, I have to change it actually. And the most frustrating one was obviously my, uh, my injury because I felt like it was at a, bad, at a very bad period of time. For me, like the timing, I guess there's never a good timing for injury, don't get me wrong. But I, I felt very good in, in, in the moment and um, I had some big plans coming up as well. So yeah, definitely disappointing and I'm kind of happy that it's over soon now. <laughs> I think I, I say that uh, many times. I, I don't see, I see him as my coach, as but I see him as, as a whole brother to us, you know. That's that's how comfortable we feel uh, when when he's around us. As soccer players, we, we must be able to adjust to to, to any kind of, of, of style of play, you know. Uh, when I came here, I was I was coached by by, by Eric Tinkler, and the, the type of football that, that we used to play is not the same that we we play now. We used to play more in in, in counter two, and now we we more into into process ball ball work. I like that he has so much passion and. I didn't know before I came to South Africa about Penny McCarthy probably uh, as much as the South Africans himself because his career was major, it was not a small thing. And it's very cool to hear the stories of him, um, of his teammates and like how it was you know, back in the day because he, he went through a different era of soccer and it changed quite a bit. And for me the most, like the nicest thing about him as a coach is you can see him grow because it's still early, early stages and yeah it's you are kind of part of his big start and yeah I don't know you can also sometimes hint him into the right direction you know <laughs> no it's just nice to see him uh, growing and yeah how he changes as a coach and with knowledge you know you obviously change and he's quite young in his coach coaching uh, stages yet but I hope he will make a massive impact here. Yeah. It's actually a great feeling to play under coach as Billy McCarthy. It's like, how can I say, it's like a teacher. He teach you mostly on the field, off the field, about life, outside football as well. So it's actually a great person to speak to. And he knows when he wants the job to be done on the field, he can push you really hard on the field and he knows how to discipline his players. This is what I expected because um, the first season we had a phenomenal season, we ended up third. Um, for, for a team that, that came together, played for the first time with each other, 
Um, we did exceptionally well the first season. Um, when coach, like I said, when Coach Benny came, we had like a, a whole change as well. We ended up fifth. fifth. Obviously, now he's a new coach. He's, he's new at this, but he did he did well for his first time. Eu acho que a, a, parte, a, parte, a parte mais difícil é, é, quando, é quando tu vais ao campo com, com a mentalidade de ganhar jogos e mesmo assim os resultados não, não aparecem. Eu acho que é, é a parte mais difícil para mim saber que não, não posso ganhar tipo, todo jogo em que eu vou. E provavelmente a parte, a parte mais fácil para mim, a parte mais fácil para mim é provavelmente levantar-me todos os dias e treinar sabendo que é algo que eu gosto de fazer, é algo que eu faço com paixão e, e só tenho que me dedicar a isso, mais nada. I think sometimes you need to find your feet, you know, in a club, in an environment and like, especially, uh, let's take my example, uh, I didn't know what to expect, uh, I was new to Cape Town in the beginning when you get somewhere, you have like the stress of changing apartments and you, you kind of, you figure out life, you know, in, in a new city or a new town or whatever it is. And that takes a little time to adapt and to feel like comfortable in the place where you are at or where you are in. So I think changing clubs, clubs too often can can be kind of distracting. Discipline and respect the people around you and to sacrifice a lot is to leave certain stuff out of your life and focus on your dream. So I would advise them to be consistent and just to push their dream more hard. I've been part of Young Bafana actually longer than of Cape Town City FC. So uh, I met these guys like on my holiday trips, you know, what I had in Cape Town before I moved on permanently and they made quite an impression on me and I just loved what they did. And when you come from a country like Austria, it's very secure, it's very protected and it's quite a, kind of difficult to compare, it, compare Austria to the rest of the world because it's so isolated in such a small country. So I think you sometimes have to break out of your normal environment like I did to, and it opens your eyes a little bit. So with this work, it gives me back a lot as well because I think I, I grow on a personal uh, level a lot from what I do there, what I see there. And with like a, with like a big job, like I think soccer player, it's kind of a big job, but comes responsibility as well. And I think we are supposed to be role models for the next generation. We are supposed to lead by example. For me, that's a very important thing. I, I, I can't say it often enough. And Most people think that everything you have to do with it has to be perfect. Well, I said footballers, we have to make mistakes in order for us to learn. So we have to make mistakes so that we can learn from it and continue to, to better it. So I think there is a little bit of pressure of the way our lifestyles and all that. But as football players, you have to know when to do it and when not to be out of the circle. It's easy to train and stuff like that if you actually play. I've been in a different situation before as well where I didn't play. Then it's, yeah, you know, you have to motivate yourself every day to make sure that you are ready when your opportunity comes. Now it's a bit easier for me to motivate myself because I know that I'll always, I'll, or as long as I perform, I'll play. Cape Town City fans, they have been amazing, if, if I must say. Uh, they have been behind us either in good or, or bad moments. And uh, you know, when we don't, we don't win games, we don't feel only for ourselves. You know, because it gets in, into a point where you get frustrated, and we can feel for them as well because they spend their money to come and watch and watch us at the stadium, and we we, we can't deliver. They are our uh, twelfth player, so I think I think I think they just have to keep doing what they've been doing, and at, at some point results will come. People are so friendly, and that's that's not just the people. On the streets, it's also my teammates. Um, they are they are so nice, so open. When I first came, you know they, they yeah they respect me for who I am, and I also I respect them for who they are. And I think that made it so easy for me to become part of this team, of this family. And um, I don't know what it is exactly, but it's just it's, everyone is so friendly, always like almost extreme. And yeah, that, that's make, that makes it just so easy. We all respect each other, we have different cultures, different backgrounds, everything is different. But in the end, 
we all we, we still Cape Town City and we do we have to do it all together on the training pitch on match day so I think they are a little bit more open-minded and they're going with the trend and they really try to establish a brand for every single individual in the club and for the club itself and I think that's very special it's very modern it's like a new generation of uh, football club and that's quite cool though and that's why I think we should have done with him we should have just so I guess the, the interview yeah. wasn't the best or you wasn't no, fully it was, satisfied. It was fine. I guess that's kind of normal it changed slightly. But it, I know a lot of guys have actually they don't find it easy, you know, to be yeah. in front of the camera. Because you don't do it every day. So Yeah. And you probably try to sound smart. Mm. No, <laughs> no like a few you, of the you, guys, you, you know. Yeah, you want to word it nicely and you want yeah. to everything perfect. Um, Happens to me all the time. I, I try to I try to implement my whole vocabulary. You know, like, no. Let me find a sentence where I can use like distinguish or, or <laughs> enigmatic, you know, something like that. Yeah, after scene, I don't mind. It is what it is.